What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about back face deformation. We'll talk about that term, what it means, and what it means for you when purchasing body armor. We're gonna be doing a lot of videos on body armor because it's something, one, that we sell, two, that we wear, and we want people to be well informed and make the best decision possible when they're purchasing body armor. It is expensive, you don't wanna waste your money on certain, certain types of body armor that we believe are not well suited for individuals. Today, again, talking specifically about back face deformation, let's get into the video. guys, those unfamiliar with the term back face deformation just refers to the deformation caused from a projectile hitting the body armor. And this specifically refers to polyethylene, ceramic, different materials that you've seen used for body armor. Not necessarily referring to steel because that disintegrates the bullets. It's a whole nother process. For the deformation of the body armor to pass the NIJ standards, it cannot exceed 44 millimeters. That's, that's the overall standard for the NIJ, ultimately passing the body armor to whatever specification it considers. This, for instance, is a level three plate, so it needs to stop up to 7.62 by 51 M80 ball, and that allows it to meet the specifications for level three armor versus something like a level four would have higher standards and we will list that right now on what those standards are. Level three is gonna be our most practical and most well-balanced body armor that you're gonna be able to find. A lot of people wanna to jump to level four and we'll do a separate video on that. But for the most part, level three is gonna be our standard. Now, the back face deformation. Something that a lot of people say, and stuff you'll see on the internet, and I don't want you to be misconstrued, is that back face deformation, well, wow, that's great, it stopped the bullet, but I'm gonna break my ribs, I'm gonna have internal bleeding, and I'm gonna die anyway. That is absolutely false and not the case. Now, while you can suffer you know, mild tissue bruising and different stuff like that from back face deformation, no one has ever, in the history of the military law enforcement, anything ever been recorded, has ever, died from back face deformation. Um, so right then and there completely debunks the case that back face deformation is going to kill you. Guys, no one has ever died. Oh, I take that back. One person has died from back face deformation. A police officer who was run over by a car. That is the exception. So if you find body armor that can stop a car from killing you, then I guess you are going to be a millionaire. However, back face deformation, guys, Yes, you may be bruised from it, of course, you're getting shot by bullets, but the benefits of something like a polyethylene plate, like from Dayton Armor Company that we have here, is that it's gonna be infinitely lighter than something like, like this plate here from Applied Fiber Concepts. Uh, only has one a warranty of five years. We'll talk about why that's just complete nonsense. Um, and this is actually not even rated as high as this Dayton armor plate, but it is infinitely heavier, and that's because steel is not the ideal, not the ideal product for body armor. But that's a separate video. Now, again, back face deformation. Um, I want to talk briefly about Dayton armor studies, along with Johns Hopkins, to find that while not only do these stop the bullets, and not only are they incredibly light, 1.5 pounds by the way, but they will also prevent injury in the form of broken ribs and internal bleeding like you hear so much on the internet. Now, their study with Johns Hopkins found that while shooting these on cadavers, so actual human bodies, they found no sign of injury aside from very minor bruising, which you're going to assume is going to happen. Now you pair that with a trauma plate that is very affordable, probably like 40, 50 bucks, and just pair that with this, and you're pretty much gonna see no signs of injury whatsoever, even while getting shot. Now obviously guys, that goes without saying, but I'm talking specifically about the rounds that this plate is capable of stopping. So again, 7.62 by 51, M80 ball, that will stop in anything, any lesser threat, 9mm, 40, 44 Magnum, you name it, this will stop it. But 
that is referring to that. Obviously, if you exceed the level of protection that this is rated for, it's gonna go through the plate. That's the whole point, right? But as far as the back face deformation, guys, don't believe the stuff you hear on the internet. It is absolutely false and you see it all the time. It's assumptions made over time from people that simply assume that this is going to hurt and kill you and everything like that, myself included before I was educated on this subject, but it's simply not the simply not the case and I wanna debunk that here and now. So guys, if you found this short video informative, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear from you guys. Go to forcefrontier.com for all life-saving equipment like this Dayton Armor product and we will see you on the next video.